So I've already done a lot of work in ARC combining information from a couple of different data sets to look at vegetation density in NDVI. What I'm going to do now is to move over to Excel to analyse this a little bit further as it's a little bit easier this way. So what I'd like to do is to open that file that we just created that linked the NDVI image with the vegetation density derived from the Worldview 2 data. So I'm going to go to open and I've navigated to the folder where I know that the data are contained. Now if you don't see the file that you want initially, remember here down the bottom it says files of type and initially it's looking for all Excel files. If I change that to all files, you'll see that I now have a larger number of files that I can choose from. And the file that I'm interested in opening is the one that I've just created in ARC, which is the Landsat Grid NDVI file. And I'm interested in the one with the .dbf extension, which is a database file, and that's the one that will open the, the attribute table, essentially, in, in Excel. So I open up this one. Okay, now let's have a look. First of all, we just see the exact same column identifiers across the top there, and we've got all the same information. And what I'm primarily interested in doing is looking at the relationship between grid code, which is our NDVI value, and the percent vegetation. So I'm selecting both of those columns using the control key. Now what I want to do is to graph those two. Let's just zoom out a little bit. So I've got my two, two columns highlighted there. Now I'm going to go to the Insert tab and I'm going to insert a, a graph or a, a plot. So I click on Scatter and I'm going to choose this first option here. So what this is doing is it's plotting the vegetation density as a percent on the x-axis, which is our column that we've derived here from the Worldview 2 data, and on the y-axis we've got the NDVI value. And you can start to see where, those, where the values of vegetation density relate to the NDVI. So we've got quite a good relationship already here and you can see that we'll be able to put a trend line through that. Now if I go, if I click on the graph here and I right click I can now go to add trend line and we're going to just keep this simple. The actual equation for relating the, these two variables is actually is going to be slightly nonlinear but we're going to keep it linear for the purpose of demonstration here and just for simplicity. So I've already got the linear trend line highlighted there as the radio button and now what I also want to do is to display the equation of that line on the chart and also to display the R squared value on the chart because we're looking for a high value there and we need to make sure that we've done it correctly and so once we've done that we can just click cl click close. Now let's have a better look at this graph. So as I enlarge it you'll be able to see that the equation of the graph, the, sorry, the equation of the trend line is, is shown on the graph here and it says y equals 0.0024x plus 0 0.3, I need to zoom in a little bit more so we can see it properly, plus 0.3226 and I have an R squared value of 0.8239 which is an excellent R squared value meaning that the points are lying quite close to this line and there's not a lot of variation there. Now this equation that we've got here, the y equals mx plus b essentially, is really important because what we're going to do is to then use that equation to look at converting our full NDVI image, not just the subset that we used in ARC, we'll, you, we'll convert that full NDVI image into a vegetation density image using that set equation by applying that to NV in band math.